Yo, what's up guys, Nash here coming at you with a brand new video and today we're talking about why your Shopify store isn't getting any sales. All right guys, so before we get started, why don't you go ahead and hit that nice looking subscribe button below and the like, let me know that you like the content that you wanna see more on a daily basis and also hit the notification bell because I'm dropping new videos every single day. They're hot, they're fire and you're gonna wanna see them as soon as they come out. So uh, yeah, go ahead and do that and let's jump in. All right guys, so before we jump into exactly why your Shopify store is not making sales, we first need to get into the psychology of a buyer. Why does somebody actually buy something? So let's jump in the computer. And why do people actually buy? Well, I think there's three specific reasons um, that we can break down and actually talk about um, that you can hopefully directly apply to your store and you know start making more sales and more conversions. So number one is that um, people buy because they need something, right? They they absolutely need it. Not that they want, but they need it. Um, you know, people do buy it based on want as well, but you know they need something or um, they have a problem um, that needs to be addressed. Okay, so what do I mean by this? Basically, people only need three things. They need food, they need shelter, and they need water. They don't need an iPhone, they don't need a Louis Vuitton bag, they don't need your Shopify store, you know, bracelet, watch, whatever it is. They don't need it. They might want it, but they don't need it. So, how do we actually jump in and say, or give them the illusion that they might need this product? Well, basically you have to pose a problem. And from that problem, you have to also pose a solution. Basically you're hitting somebody's pain point and you're saying, hey, we know that you know this sucks, but here's our solution. It's the hero, it comes to save the day. And you know, there you're able to make a sale. So a specific example, I see a lot of these bracelets being promoted like, you know, Buddha bracelets, those lion bracelets, uh, you know, the multicolored bracelets, which I think are called chakras, um, that are, you know, I think healing bracelets or whatever. I see a lot of them promoted on fashion pages because, you know, they're cool and they're kind of a fashion statement and it's fine, you know, they make sales doing that. But what if you come at it from the pin, the, uh, you know, the point of view of, hey, 